wow this lighting is unflattering today we are going through my bin of trash i like to watch these types of videos because i think it's totally different when someone is giving you kind of like their first impressions of a product right as they're opening it but when a product is completely gone i feel like that is like the most valuable review because the person has clearly spent an extended amount of time using it so that's what we're doing today i have a lot of different products some of them are drugstore some of them are bath and body works if you're new to my channel i have a side hustle working at bath and body works so i do have a lot of their products that i get free and i get to try them out and i don't get paid or get any commission or anything for giving reviews so i'm giving you my honest review on them basically um, just to give like, an overview it's going to be some hair care body care and i think there's like one or two like skincare type products the first one that i want to talk about is the bath and body works shampoo and conditioner the reason that i was excited to talk about these is because i have seen so many people asking about whether they're actually worth it to buy i am one of the people that said i would never buy shampoo and conditioner from bath and body works i was very pessimistic when i first heard that they were coming out with shampoo and conditioner the only reason that i ended up getting them is because as an employee we do get things free and gratis if i have them for free i'm like why wouldn't i try them that way i can make an informed recommendation when people come in asking me questions about them which is the exact point of gratis so i got the into the night shampoo and conditioner i love the smell of into the night i know it's a very polarizing scent like some people think it's a little too heavy on the patchouli and um they really hate it I am one of the people that is diehard into the night fan. The scent notes, just if you're curious, are raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, and creamy patchouli and mocha musk. For me personally, I feel like the most prominent notes are the raspberry noir and the mocha musk. And then there is that like patchouli kind of depth to it. But I will say about these, as far as the scent goes, that is a big plus to these. I would still smell the scent in my hair hours after showering, the next morning after showering. It really does last in your hair. So if nothing else, that is, you know, a reason for me to at least get these maybe on sale. I would never pay full price for these. They are $16.95 each, but they do have sales all the time. I think there was a two for 16 sale. Um, there was, I think a two for 22 one is kind of a recurring sale. The other thing is that a lot of people have said that it is drying. Well, I did not notice it was drying, I didn't really notice it did anything for my hair. So I think that these are just glorified drugstore hair care products. I think they smell amazing, which is really what you're paying for. When you're going to Bath & Body Works for a shampoo and conditioner, you're paying for the smell. That's what we do. Yeah, that's pretty much it for my review on these. I think they're worth a try at the end of the day. Since I kind of started on hair care, I guess I'll just move on and just talk about these two. They don't go together. Um, oh, this isn't hair care. Never mind. She can wait. So the only other hair care that I have is this Nexus Diametris shampoo. Um, I'm just gonna go quickly through this. Oh, it's leaking. This, I mean, it's okay. It smells good. I can say it didn't dry my hair out. Like I didn't notice any adverse effects of this shampoo, but I don't know if I'd really buy it again. I think it's $16. This is okay. I mean, not bad. I just think like there are some people that are diehard Nexus people. Next, I will move on to body wash. I have, she's back. The Moroccan Rose uh, Tree Hut. This was actually my sister's and she left it in my shower because she used to live with me. So um, I just like finished it off because there wasn't really much left and I didn't like it. And I wonder if that's maybe why she left it at my house. It's really watery. So like you're not getting a rich lather from this at all. I feel like I, I finished it off really quick because you squirt it into your hand and it is just like all water. I know it didn't used to be like that because when she first bought it, it was the same consistency. I personally would never buy this. I didn't even really like the smell that much. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't amazing. All right, then we have a native Perry and vanilla macaron. So I remember that I bought this because Stephanie Harlow said, this is such an amazing scent. It was like her signature scent. And I was like, okay, girl, I'll trust you. Mm, it's all right. I don't know. The scent was all right. The lather was all right. I mean, water's the first ingredient and you know what that means. It's going to be runny. It's really not the best product ever. And I know that native products are kind of expensive. You can always find a discount code. I don't have one, but I know Stephanie has one. I think it's like Stephanie H15 or something like that. I know my Ohio podcast has one. You can always find a discount code. So never pay full price for native product. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. Bath and Body Works really does shower gel well. So I think I kind of just going to stay with them. Okay, the other one that I had was just this mini one that um, 
it's just a four ounce like little one that I, th I think my sister gave this to me because I don't remember buying it, but it's a uh, Dr. Teal's foaming bath um, with melatonin and essential oils. And this one was really good. The smell was therapeutic. I think it was actually really relaxing. I don't even care if it's placebo, regardless, it did what it says it does. It relaxed me, it felt great. They have bath salts that match with this. So they're the exact same thing. It's the Epsom salts and it was the same scent of like the melatonin and essential oils. I got an injury when I was running, so I soaked my foot in a mop bucket filled with water and the Epsom salt. That really helped my aches and pains. Like, I was so surprised taking my foot out of that bath. I felt so much better. I really think that Dr. Teal's is not overrated. I would definitely repurchase this in a big one. Next thing that I have, eh, it was a face cream. This is the Grown Alchemist Skin Renewal Day Cream. And it's just like this uh, metal tube thing. I was very pleasantly surprised by this. This smells really good. I know I, I focus on smells. I'm like, I'm a smell person. If something smells bad, I'm not gonna use it. That's kind of like where I start off my judgment. But this smells really good and it, it's it's kind of like an herbally, like it's not artificial, not perfumey or anything like that. It's just like an herbal relaxing smell. But what I will say about this, this is a cream. She's thick. This made my skin so soft that I noticed it. Like I was using it every day. And when I went to wash my face off at the end of the night, my face really felt like soft like, and I noticed it. And there was nothing else about my skincare routine that I changed. So I really think that I owe it to this. This is a little bit pricey, but I don't know. I'm not really mad about it. Like it's, it's, it's a really good product. So I would recommend this. We're getting down to the end of it now. So I will do, you know what, I'll do creams. So this first one is called Cozy. It's the aromatherapy line from Bath and Body Works. It is cinnamon and sandalwood scented and it's a moisturizing body lotion. And I typically don't go for the body lotions. I like the creams better because they're thicker, more moisturizing, but sometimes I will get the lotions because they last longer. The creams have a pretty short shelf life and that kind of scares me because I don't go through them that fast. My sister goes through like a cream every month, but for me, I could be on one tube of body cream for like two, three months. So that's why I don't like to buy them too often. The thing about the lotions that's really good is that in the summer, you don't really need like cream level moisture. Sometimes you just need a little bit of moisture if you were out in the sun or something like that. So I do like to get the lotion sometimes. This one, I'm gonna start off this with the smell again, but oh my God, I wish they would bring this back. It is discontinued because Bath & Body Works loves to have amazing scents and then discontinue them and break our hearts. Sometimes they come back with stuff. I am hearing rumors. If you're a Bath & Body Works fan, because I know like I do attract some people to my channel just based on the fact that I work there. I am hearing rumors that the, um, oh my gosh, I'm completely blanking on the name of it. The, the pride scent, love, everyone, love always wins. Oh, love always wins, that's what it is. I was gonna say everyone deserves love. <laughs> I mean, true, but like, that's not the name. So the love always wins is coming back. And I know that we get so many customers asking about that because it is a really good scent. Also, some of the other classic ones are coming back. Freesia's coming back. Madagascar Vanilla is coming back. Um, all of these are coming back for semi-annual sale, which starts on June 1st. And I'm allowed to tell you that because I don't think that's a secret. Anyways, getting back to my point, sorry, rambling. This smelled so good. It's just a very relaxing, cozy, year-round type of scent. It smells luxurious, like rich. I really like this one and I like that it comes in the glass bottle. It just feels like so nice. This retails for $16.50 and I reckon I didn't pay that. Probably like one of the $5.95 sales I got this off. If this came back, I would so buy it. I totally recommend this. This is a win from me. Here, so this little guy, <laughs> this is funny. This was a full-size tube and I just cut off the top so that I could get down to here because when you're squeezing it at a certain point, it won't squeeze anything out anymore. So you have to cut off the top in order to get inside of it. Um, it's feral, honestly, but it works. So this little guy was called Tropidelic. It is one of Bath & Body Works newer scents. I believe it launched in January. I think it was like one of our first floor sets in January. And it's a tropical kind of smelling lotion. It, the fragrance notes are Irresistible Passion Flower, Ylang Ylang, and Misty Rain Rainforest. And this is one that I'm very happy that we got in gratis because I hated it when I first smelled it in floor set. I was putting up one of the tables that had this on it. And I was like, that is disgusting. Then we got it in gratis and I was like, well, if it's free, 
it's January, I'll get a cream, I'll use it out of the shower, maybe I'll come around to it. I did actually come around to it. I surprised myself with this one. I don't love it, like it's not a ride or die, I wouldn't repurchase it, but I am not mad that I got it in gratis because I did happily use it. It really wasn't one of those project use it ups that's a chore and you hate getting through it. I really actually enjoyed using it and I think I smelled nice. And um, this, this has shea butter and hyaluronic acid in it and it claims to have 24 hour moisture and I had no issue. But that's pretty much it for this one. And then the last product that I have is this aromatherapy. It's called Breathe Deep. And it is an essential oil mist with vitamin E and aloe. I don't really know why it has vitamin E and aloe in it because I'm not putting it on my skin. <laughs> I used to put this like on my bed at night before I was going to sleep. And so this line right here, you can see, this is where I was back in March. And that's when I kind of started this project, Use It Up. And I finished it off. There's like a tiny little bit in the bottom that you can still see, but it won't actually spray. It's done. But I really liked this one. I know that I gifted this to my friend Casey because I love this one. It's really good. I think it's just a nice neutral nighttime scent. You really can't go wrong. You go up with this and lavender, like pretty much everybody loves those. Together, chef's kiss, great combo. I would say for longevity, it would last like maybe an hour, maybe two if I use kind of a lot of it. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for digging through my trash with me. And I hope that some of my reviews were useful. Let me know if I left anything out or if you have any other questions on any of the things that I mentioned because I'm happy to answer them. That's the whole point of this video. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye.